Ladies and gentlemen, it's Power at 98.3, 101.9 for the East Valley. After the show, the man of the hour, hey. Lil Dicky. How you doing? What's up, Dave? How's life? I feel like we just did this, and they didn't see it. Yeah, this is take two. There I'm not some... going to lie to you guys. Like, we this had... guy's so genuine. I said, let's do it again and like, <laughs> act like it never happened, but he's so genuine. Yeah, this is our second run because there was a technical issue. I felt awkward lying to you guys. I just, I didn't, I, I want that relationship, that I bond. like him so much more now, and I know that he would never, I know he'll never lie. I would never would. Yeah. All right, so uh, let, let's talk everything, man. I mean, sure. uh, you were out here a while back. That was the first time we met, and and say that money was like starting to bubble. Yeah, yeah. And now here we are. I mean, what what the hell, man? How's life changed? Uh, you know, it hasn't really changed that much. You have more money now. Are you still saving it? Yeah, I don't spend it. I still drive a 2002 Toyota Avalon. You're still driving it? Yeah, I'm gonna drive it. I think I've decided I'm gonna drive it until it stops working. Even if I'm like. Even if it's like five years from now. <laughs> like, I, I well How many miles are on this thing? I don't know. I need to look it up. I've never paid attention. but I It's should. just rolling. Yeah. <laughs> it was my grandfather's car. So What, what was your last, uh, I mean, have you made, I would assume you've made some type of kind purchase. of outlandish purchase. Not recently. outlandish, but I moved into a nice house and it's like the rent's expensive. Oh, there we go. What part of, are you in LA? Santa Monica, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's pricey out there. Yeah, it is. But, All right. But that's the only real expense and I feel as though I'm entitled to it. I'm real curious about this. I saw a recent interview you did yeah. and it seemed a little racial and it kept oh, going to racial things yeah, yeah 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 and i'm a fan I mean, i'm a radio nerd yeah so I, I watch everyone's interviews i love this type of stuff yeah dude are, are you over that stuff already like just the i mean obviously i know people keep bringing it up but after a while it's like all right cool yeah i'm white i get it i rap and it is what it is it doesn't really bother me no i think it would bother me if it like has happened forever like i just think i always kind of expected it to happen initially and, and so I, I mean you're walking in kind of knowing what's going to go on yeah like I, i'm well, well aware I mean, you've been there before yeah, you know what I mean. So it's kind of like, it's but I've like, like but the last time I was there, it was like you're white. We we don't even want to have you on the show. And this time it's like I was wrong, but you're still white. You know what I mean? So it's like a different. Do you feel like it'd be different the opposite way though? If you were like, oh man, but you're black, man. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try not to even think too much about. You can go crazy thinking about that type of stuff. Yeah, I, just, I there's gonna be a point in time where it's just like I said in the interview, it's like very objective and it's like it really transcends race. And what he doesn't get yet is that, like how big of a thing it's going to be, I think. Right. And eventually he'll realize, oh, it doesn't even matter. This could have been fucking an alien. Well, see, that's the thing that and I don't... Still, music is just music, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like when Andre 3000 is doing, hey, ah, people weren't like, dude, you're black. Why are you doing this? Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It is, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. You know, people... I get it. Hip-hop's like a sacred thing, and you got an upper middle class, like, you know, Jewish guy coming out of nowhere and doing really well in it. And I understand the thought process behind it to some extent but i just think i'm not being anything other than myself so it's like my only option would be to not rap ever i think the thing is like the reason i connect so much to it obviously very light skin i'm half white i'm half mexican so growing yeah. up anytime someone light skin comes up it was like hey eminem hey paul wall yeah. hey because i'm involved in like you yeah. know hip-hop radio and yeah. stuff so it's always the same comparison yeah. it's like well why is it got to be like that totally. i'm not pointing at you like hey whoever you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah. it's just wait, like, yeah. i don't know it's just it's it's, it's whatever. Overplayed. Yeah, I try to be as original as I can. So hopefully, like in time, I just think it's a time thing. Things will just in time. People, I think it's it's tough to really kind of wrap your head around the stuff. Have I you think. thought about bleaching your skin? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. You never know. I'm happy with my current complexion. Very nice. Yeah. So let's just uh, what, what, what's going on musically, man. Obviously, save that money's doing what it do. We got the Snoop record that everyone's going crazy for. A catalog now with your older joints that people rock with. Yeah, I mean, what, 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 what are we, what are we working on? Man, I need to. I'm so over my catalog. Like, I need more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, like, is that? Do you do you get tired of performing songs? Like, like, you're, are you over them enough to where you're like, all right, cool guys? But it's not that I'm over them. It's just I feel like I've been touring so much in the last like six to eight months that I haven't been able to make new music, and I just like know how much better of a rapper I am right now than my current music even shows. Mm -hmm. So it's just I do like. My set I still like, but like, I can't wait to swap a few songs out with like a few of like the best songs I've I've ever made that haven't been made yet. You know? Talk to me about the Trinidad James joint because we just started playing this thing. How do you link up with him? And I mean, just working with Mystical's got to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Just to be on the same song with Mystical, Mystical I mean, the so man, nice. right? Yeah, dude, you have no idea. He's like that, like at every moment of really? the day. Yeah, and it's so inspiring. So, but, so were you guys in the studio? You did the song together? No. Oh no. damn, I got it. I got it when it was. You know, the only thing left was my verse to do. So it's like, oh, this I definitely need to get involved here. This song's great. So I so, put my verse down. So does Trinidad reach out to you? or I met Trinidad uh, at the Ray Schremmerd, Nicki Minaj, Young Thug, Throw Some Mo music video shoot. Okay. Me and him were both there. Like, Mike Will, like, invited people to make cameos. Uh, our cameos. But. That's the worst. you like, on Instagram, Snapchat. Yo, we're at the yeah. video. I'm going to be in it. Dude, and, you I was know, so make the excited. Cut. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we bonded. 
And then, yeah, he, we, his camp reached out uh, when they had this song, and I was like, this song's amazing. And then I made my verse, and then... It is it, an anthem. Yeah, it is. And then we got together, all of us, to like, shoot the video and like shoot content together, and we get along really well as a trio. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, I know last time we talked, you were saying you were talking about doing like uh, more projects with Rich Homie and stuff like that, and he was a super yeah. good guy. What's going on with that? Any update? Uh, no, no update on that, except that the project that I wanted to make was very... Uh, time sensitive in the sense that it had to be done at a certain point of time to be relevant it's hard to explain so we, we missed our boat this, damn this year okay so we'll see all right well yeah. you said this year i mean who, next year who knows what's gonna happen exactly you might have a, a watch the throne part two with jay-z bro yeah. yeah that'd be crazy is there someone you're looking at working with like seriously like like everyone has that one artist that's just like yo i gotta do something with this dude is there someone yet i mean now you're like in that right uh circle i feel like you could kind of pull who you want right now yeah, but, but you know, there's so many answers I could say. Like, obviously, Drake is my favorite rapper, but like, have you heard views? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Uh, I need to listen to it more. First off, you should know I'm the biggest Drake fan. Like, he's my favorite artist, so my expectations are so sky high okay. at all times. What do you do? You like rap Drake? Do you like sing Drake? I like rap Drake, so obviously, it's a lot of sing Drake on this. Yes. Okay. So, well, I, I, I mean, we we listened to the full thing yesterday. What did you think about two? I like it. I mean, there are you don't, you don't love it. There are a couple pop records that keep me from loving the whole thing because, like, the dance stuff. I'm not gonna like, you know. But, but I, I the, like the dance stuff to me is the best stuff on it. Like one dance, Hotline Bling, and the, and the Rihanna song. Those I think the, I'm sick of Hotline Bling because we played it. I'm a million sick of Hotline. I'm sick of Hotline. I know, yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy they put that last. But I, I do like the album. I just like the whole flow of it. Everything. The thing from is, the, you're, you're never not gonna like the album. It's a Drake album. It's, you're obviously gonna like it. You know what I mean? Like, true. So it's of course it's gonna be good. Have you met him? No. Damn. Yeah. We, you, last time we were here, we talked about him. So I'm curious. Like, I'm sure you talk about him in multiple interviews. He he has to know you're a fan, I would think. Yeah, but he, everyone's a fan. Damn. You know, I'm just True another statement. I'm just another rapper that's a fan of Drake. But I'll meet him eventually. I don't even. I'm not even interested in meeting him in like a passive way. Like the first time I meet him, I want it to be like a full on like meal. Okay. You where, know? where would where would this meal I don't take know, place? Like an upscale restaurant, maybe for like at like eleven a.m., like a brunch. Oh man, okay, yeah, there it is. Like, I, I, if I met would him you put a... truffle butter on the steak? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While the instrumentals playing in the background, yeah, I had, I did, yeah, I'd ask if it was available. All right, man. So for the people listening right now that can't make it out, obviously because the show's sold out. Uh, for the people watching this on after the show right now, what, what should we say? Uh, just just to the people that couldn't make it, or maybe the new fans that are just now coming to find out about Lil Dicky, what should be known? I guess the people that couldn't make it, I'm so sorry. I wish that you could be here. You know, I want to comfort you and say you're not missing out on much, but I think you're missing out on a lot. Uh, that was my comfort. I was trying to, I didn't do a good job of holding the baby. But, I was uh, rubbing my shoulder. No, but uh, I'll be back. You know, I come, you know, Arizona is a sick place, and uh, you'll see me around, you know. Uh, look up my stuff if you've never seen it. It's interesting. Look yeah. up this man. <laughs> Hello, Dickie. Dave, thank you for the time. It's Power 98.3, 1019. Thanks for having me.